In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form for your website using Web Starts. Here's my completed form. I've got a field for name, email address, phone number, physical address. I have a comment section. I have multiple choice. I have a drop down. I have check boxes, time selection, date selection, and even a payment enabled donation amount so I can add an amount I'd like to donate right there. So I've just added all of these fields to show you the range of things that you can ask for in your form. Let me show you how I created that using the Web Starts page editor. I've signed into my Web Starts account and if you haven't already created one go to webstarts.com and create one and I've selected the page that I'd like to add my form to while in the page editor view. So this view is called the page editor and you can toggle between your pages up here. I selected the contact page. From there I clicked on the add option, contact form, and here is where I begin to select the fields that I want in my form. So I started with a name, email address, phone number, and as you can see these fields are added to the right side of the module. And you can rearrange the order by dragging and dropping these fields. I continued to add things like address, then I added, let's see, paragraph text, check boxes, drop down, multiple choice. So all those things are appearing here. Now you can customize each one of these modules by clicking on it and then filling out your choices. So you probably don't want to use first choice. So maybe you're asking people to choose from three different colors. You've got red, blue, and green and you want those to be the options. If that's the case, you just select the module and then you customize each one of those. If you want to add additional options, you can click the plus. If you want to remove one of those choices, you can click the minus. Now going back over to my add a field tab, I'm going to add a payment enabled field. Now, the payment enabled fields in WebStarts currently only use PayPal as a payment method, and I set that up by clicking on the field where it says change payment settings. I enter my PayPal email address into the field provided. I can give it a name and a description. And then I can choose to make it either a fixed amount or a variable amount and for this demo I'm going to make it a variable amount which means that people can enter whatever dollar amount they'd like and I'm going to change the field label from PayPal to donation amount you can also make any of these fields required by checking the required box I'm going to select email and check required. When that happens, a little asterisk will appear to the right of the field label that is required. You can change some things like the field size. See, I can make that small, medium, or large. And if you click on the form settings tab, you can change the email address or add multiple email addresses where you'd like that form data to be sent to once somebody comes to your website and fills out that form. You can also change where you would like those field labels to be, left the line, top the line, so on and so forth. And you can choose a confirmation page. So once somebody submits their form, you can choose another page on your website to send them to. For example, maybe a page that says, thank you for submitting the form. Someone will be in touch with you shortly, something like that. But you can send it, send them to any page on your website. You can enable CAPTCHA. 
that stops spam bots from filling out your form. Sometimes people will send a bot to crawl your website and fill out your form automatically. If you ever run into that problem, you can enable CAPTCHA. And you can choose to put the emails that you gather into a contact list and that integrates with WebStart's email marketing app and allows you to send a follow-up and broadcast emails to the people who submitted your form. Once you're ready to put this form on your page, click Insert Form, and then the form is added to the page, and you can drag and drop it where you would like it to appear. You can also customize things like the colors of the form in Web Starts by clicking on the color box and then choosing, for example, a different color for text. You can choose a different uh, color for the uh, borders, and you can choose a different color for all kinds of things. Just the text input can be changed, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything black, though, so I'm just going to click Undo. When you're ready, go ahead and click Save, and then those changes will be saved and published to your live website and then you'll be able to view that by clicking on the view site button. That's it for this video on how to create a form for your website. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and also see more helpful videos like this. And if you don't have a webstarts account and you still want to create a form, you can do that as well. Just go to webstarts.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and it's not there.